Hello, I'm Timothy Snyder. I'm a historian. I wrote On Tyranny and some other books. I've written a couple of other books since I wrote On Tyranny, which is one of the reasons why it's interesting for me to return to the lessons. I'm, I'm returning them now five years after I wrote them, now in, 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 in 2021, for a very specific reason. We've, we've all gone through a lot together these last few years, and I've updated the text of On Tyranny to reflect that, not the lessons, they're the same, just the text. And I'm very happy to say that this updated text will be illustrated by, the, by Nora Krug in a very special new edition of the book, which is appearing in October 2021. So working together with Nora on this project has got me thinking again about the lessons. And what I've decided to do is talk through each of them one at a time and, and say a few words about what's happened to us recently, what might be happening to us now, how to think about the future. So today we're on lesson number six. Lesson number six of On Tyranny is be wary of paramilitaries. When the men with guns, who have always claimed to be against the system, start wearing uniforms and marching with torches and pictures of a leader, the end is nigh. When the pro-leader paramilitary and the official police and military intermingle, the end has come. I remember when, when, when On Tyranny came out, one of the dominant reactions, I think even among people who liked the book, was to say, no, no, this is, this is too extreme. You know, the institutions are going to save us. Americans are exceptional. It can't happen here, all that sort of thing. Four or five years on, I think that reaction has, has dampened. And I'm very glad that I wrote the book when I did. Uh, to repeat a point I made in talking about lesson number one, which is don't obey in advance, timing is very important. When you, when you think something is wrong, when you feel something is wrong, it's best to act at that moment when you have that conviction, because if you don't act at that moment, then you're going along. If I hadn't written the book when I wrote the book, I would have felt like I was going along. So looking back, I'm, I'm really glad I did. The this particular lesson about paramilitaries has unfortunately proven to be all too topical. I'm going to I'm going to repeat you know the the basic historical grounding of this lesson before I talk about the present. The basic historical grounding of this lesson is that some of the worst repression in history arises from a mixture, a molding together of paramilitaries who are not part of the state with state power. So when we think about Nazi Germany and the SS, we might think, well, the SS, they were soldiers, they were policemen, weren't they? No, no, they were not. The SS were a paramilitary. The SS was an, an, was an illegal, violent group that was associated with the Nazi party, but it wasn't part of the state. It wasn't part of the state, it was a paramilitary. And it was the merger of this racial racist paramilitary with state power, which was one of the most dangerous things about the Nazi period. I mention that because we obviously, you know, we're not in exactly the same place, of course, but we, we obviously have a tendency to overlook this particular path to unfreedom. The American tradition is to look only at the government and to ask what the government is doing wrong and say maybe there should, be, there should only be less government. But of course, what we do matters a lot as well. And if we dress up in uniforms and carry torches and, and carry acts of violence and, and you know, try to take the monopoly of violence away from the government, we're doing something very particular, which, which has a history. And of course, some of the people who do that know that history. So these things that I mentioned in this text, a lot of them happened. The marching with torches, we certainly had Charlottesville, for example. The paramilitaries, we certainly had an attempted coup d'etat with the support participation of paramilitaries that we also had in January 2000 and, and, and 21. Um, and we need, to, we need to remember that there are lots of failed coups, right? I'm not gonna say that what happened in January 2021 is exactly like the Beer Hall Putsch that, that Hitler and the Nazis carried out roughly a century before. Um, I am just going to say that in general, a failed coup is what happens before a successful coup. Um, a failed coup is practice for a successful coup. It's hard to get a coup right the first time. Once you've had a coup attempt in your country, which we have had, 
you, you, you can't look away from the basic reality that other coup attempts are very likely coming down the road. So when I say be wary of paramilitaries in 2021, I mean a couple of things. I mean the same thing I meant four and a half years ago. I mean, watch out for them, notice them, understand their historical importance. But I also mean, and the leaders of our police forces and armed forces, I think, to a large degree understand this. I also mean you have to be wary of them within the ranks of the institutions where, where people bear arms. Um, the, 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 the fact that we had a coup attempt, um, in very strange circumstances, by the way, means that the armed forces and the police and all the other institutions where people bear arms have to be investigating themselves. They have to be wary in that sense. How many of our people took part in this? How many of our people supported this? But we also need to be wary in a broader sense. We have to have knowledge of what actually happened. I, in a in, in, in number of these little videos, I'm going to just repeat that there was a coup attempt on the 6th of January, 2021. I was one of the very few people to predict correctly that such a thing was going to happen. I predicted on the same on the basis of the same kinds of readings and thought about history that led me to write on tyranny in the first place. Now that it has happened, we need not to look away from it. We need to do the opposite. We need to make sure that as a government, as, as citizens, and as civil society organizations, we carry out investigations of this thing so that we can understand how it was possible from the perspective of the paramilitaries, from the perspective of other people who took part, from the perspective of the, the forces that did not guard the Capitol, from the perspective of the Capitol policemen uh, who were present. We have to be able to understand how something like this happened. It's now in 2021 that we have to be laying down the documents, laying down the sources for ourselves and for, and for future Americans. Because if we can't look hard at this, if we can't figure out this, um, then we're basically inviting the next one. So lesson six was be wary of paramilitaries. Thank you.